basis of a good whiskey or spirit, there's a couple things. Raw materials is paramount. I mean, uh, you can't expect to make world-class beer or world-class whiskey without having uh, a raw materials that represent that. And so we, we want to use the best ingredients to, so the customer will get the best product. But the other half, part of that is uh, a skilled distiller. He needs to be able to take um, this wash that the brewery's created for him, remove the hearts of that fermentation and the alcohol to give us an amazing smooth product that uh, consumers will enjoy. Initially good ingredients um, then a lot of care has to be taken at every step in the process to that make sure that our cut points are adhered to and that we come up with a nice sweet aromatic distillate from it and the, the barrels are, are an enormous part of it as well. You don't want to put thousands of dollars worth of spirit into, uh, into barrels that are inferior, so we, we take a lot of care in picking barrels. Hardly anybody knows um, how close beer is to whiskey. It's kind of a one more step minus the hops. It's part of its evolution. It's its next step. I think we're innovators. That's what helps us um, drive forward and keep going. And so Lowe and McKinnon for us is, uh, you know, the proverbial next step. The whiskey was really nicely balanced, beautifully balanced actually, um, and just some really nice sort of grainy, a little bit of fruity notes. The finish is fantastic, it's a long, but even for a younger whiskey, it's fantastic. All around, all around, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful example of how whiskey should be made in Canada. The flavor range is enormous. What makes a good whiskey? Kind of impossible question. A good whiskey for you is the one that you like. If every whiskey they make in British Columbia is going to taste like this, they're heading on the right track. If somebody wanted to taste an artisan whiskey, and that particular liquid is extraordinary value for money. Beautifully, beautifully crafted and together Scottish liquid. What we have here is a whiskey that at three years of age is really very well balanced that stands up well with the water added, and that over time is going to just get better and better. I, uh, I, I, I have to be, be candidly honest with you that I really, I enjoyed the sample that they sent me in the mail, enough that I came over here during my vacation to talk to you about this was Elo and McKinnon. Really, this is going to break, uh, break the path for other uh, single malt whiskeys in Canada.